In this video I'm going to talk about the custom subheader element. Now in case you don't know how it looks, just go to features, custom subheaders and you can see a lot of uh, pages right here. I'm just going to open this one because these four right here are actually just images with a custom holiday uh, image. So. As you can see, we have a background image right here, which is a, um, so yeah, we have a, now in this example, we have a background image. As you can see, um, there's also, or probably, you don't see but uh, I'm just going to show you because it's uh, well yeah I'm just going to do this I'm going to access the settings and here's the image now you might wonder what happened and what happened is that the background color overlay is enabled more exactly the horizontal gradient on the one side this color is uh, enabled with an opacity of 60% and on the right this uh, ink type of color is uh, or purple yeah it's uh, uh, placed on the right with an opacity of 35% also, as you can see, a vector mask 3 aligned to the center is enabled here. So, this is the background image. We also have a background video here. As you can see, it's a, a video. I can have the, some controls. I can mute it. It's awesome, in my opinion. It's awesome. I love I think this is this element is my favorite one because I love everything that's uh, above default. I like to scroll and this and that, but this side I have to love it. I have to love it. So yeah, now if I edit with a page builder, I'm just going to hide the header and edit this element. As you can see in the background source type, self-hosted video is uh, selected and the sources are loaded. Now in case you're wondering why uh, three sources for one single video, well that's because of course uh, the browser wars. They each one uh, supports another. Uh, for example, uh, OGV uh, video source is for older versions of uh, Firefox. WebM is a favorite of Chrome, but it also supports MP4. And um, basically to ensure that your video works on each browser, you have to add them all three. Now, I personally like taking risks and I like studying my audience and if I do check my audience on say uh, Google Analytics and I see that the browsers for example the older vo versions of uh, Firefox are I don't know less than two three percent I'm just going to skip this one and that's because I'm encouraging to use uh, updated versions of uh, uh, the browsers. I hate Internet Explorer. Uh, I mean, the older versions, of course, this uh, new one is much better, but I hate the old ones. So, yeah, if you can simply add the MP4 and 90% is assured. But it's your choice, like I said, it depends to you. You can also add a video poster. Um, 
this, uh, this video poster will be displayed on mobiles yes that's right these neither these videos do not work on mobiles or smartphones in case you're wondering why well uh, that's because all nowadays all the the uh, operating system especially Apple and iOS um, takes over the video and uh, adds its own uh, uh, controls its own uh, it, it makes it different it's uh, it doesn't have that purpose of a background this should serve only as a background and that's it you can of course add a video of whatever you want but you can uh, take risks now in case you you do want to show uh, something on the uh, iOS like I said this uh, image will appear and looking on the bright side the website will be faster usually um, it's best actually because videos on uh, smartphones are very very uh, bandwidth uh, consumer and think about your users most of them might access your website from uh, uh, 3G or 4G uh, network and you might really really consume his, uh, his uh, bandwidth so then we have the uh, options for the video autoplay, loop, start mute and video controls and of course the video controls position right now they're here on the middle right so of course we also have the background color overlay with just a simple color of dark dark gray yeah with a 65 uh, percent uh, uh, opacity and in uh, the bottom mask uh, override uh, the bottom mask is a uh, vector mask 4 just uh, just to explain these uh, are all added from versions 4.1 not sure if you already had Kalias you would know that these uh, these four these uh, uh, styles right here were not uh, included so then we have uh, the gradient and this gradient is uh, generated by the background overlay let me just hide this one and if I go to the background styles and options you can see the colors are full I can select for example no not blue this this uh, purple you can do a lot of combinations here in my opinion it looks great a lot of uh, colors just simply fit together very nice and you can also have a vertical uh, uh, gradient okay so moving forward you can also have a background or a video or a gradient background with these animated uh, sparkles now they are there you if you uh, if you don't want don't use them they are nice to be used they make uh, the subheader a bit more dynamic and uh, uh, animated so uh, let's just uh, roll back and go back to the first uh, background image subheader element so first you can uh, set if you want to show the page title this is the page title uh, you can also change the 
actually let me take it differently now as you can see background image is defined here in this as you can see the uh, title of this field is overwrite title now in case uh, you don't know uh, this will overwrite the default defined title what this default uh, defined title means is that when I edit the page you can add a title here also the subtitle here so um, you can see that this garbage is not displayed neither this one so these uh, two fields will override those fields so again you can uh, hide them completely then you can uh, hide the, the date or hide the breadcrumbs now you can also uh, adjust the height of the element you can do it live if you have a I don't know something that you want to tweak on you can uh, define the top padding uh, let me just do this this won't work of course because the distance at the, at the bottom does not really matter in this uh, context and I can do this for example so you can basically have a, a, a nice uh, media visual uh, enabled on your page like I said I love this part because I love images and you can um, you can change the overall overall aspect of a website with just a few images or videos so there it is if you have uh, questions uh, feel free to ask I'm not sure if I covered everything I tried to uh, first uh, explain which are the custom subheaders I'm a bit stressed right now because I'm not sure if I missed something if I did I'm sorry uh, just let me know and I will uh, correct it so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one cheers